Before we start, mm -hmm. what's that? I gotta see the chain. I was saying, I just threw this on. I wasn't even gonna put one on. Oh, damn. damn. My homies do the chain. I, this is the first thing I've ever bought in my life. I've oh, never really? bought a couple days ago. Yeah. And I just, jewelry for me is very like, I'll break that. Uh -huh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, especially you, you're, you're energetic. You don't, yeah. it never hit you in the teeth. Ooh. Yeah, for sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. one of the things. What's going on on the pendant? Um, this is me meditating right now. When did you start meditating? Uh, over like three years ago, about three years ago. Have you yeah. done some astral projection or anything? Yeah, yet? I actually did before. Yeah? You know, a few times. Um, I just projected one time and it was like, as soon as I did it, I like messed it up and like I came back. Cause like, it's kind of like a sleeping state really. Mm -hmm. But um, I woke up, if that makes sense. Could you yeah. see your body when you're looking down? Uh, not in that instant. No. I did. I did it for, like two or three times once off of like seven, eight grams of shrooms. Oh, for real? And I was just looking at my body, and like you said, I messed it up. The yeah. first night, I messed it up and went, "Oh yeah, I'm, I'm tripping." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah, fell yeah. back into my bed like where I was. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like uh, someone's dragging like a cartoon, huh? Mm -hmm. Like a Space Jam when he gets yeah. taken to Space Jam world. <laughs> That's how I felt. Yeah, man. All right, so damn astral projection off meditation. Get just through clean meditation, like. Oh uh, yeah, through a clean meditation, just off you know just breathing, and um, I've done any other things with shrooms as well to where I went places, but the first time it was just you know just mm -hmm. me. How long did that take, like? Oh, uh, it was like it was about a few weeks, a few weeks in. You know, I I was meditating hard like one week when I first learned how to, so I kind of like became a professional, I guess, mm -hmm. just off me learning myself and, you know. So it's something that everybody here is like, yeah, it's probably something I should be doing, but nobody mm -hmm. really knows how to, like, effectively meditate mm -hmm. in a way that mm -hmm. it's like, you know, first thing we bring up in an interview, damn near. It's a superpower, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a superpower, mm -hmm. man. You almost feel like, damn, is anybody else could do this? <laughs> kind of feel like X-Men right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you use uh, that time for, like, visualizing, like, things you want to happen? Yeah, like, visualizing, um, prayer. Um, gratefulness and you know things I want to see come to reality so manifestation mm. so yeah we, that's what we preach on this show yeah. man we mm. talk about it all the time that's literally what our audience is all about yeah. is you yeah. know set a goal work toward it because you can always see it in five years I'm gonna look back yeah, yeah. I'm gonna crush sure. it yeah, yeah. yeah. five so, year plans are good yeah the really. five year plan I just, I just started doing them man and uh, it, it works mm. but for you five year plan you were 15 years old yeah, you're yeah. young as hell bro and, and that's crazy I had a five year plan and at 15? Um, yeah and I did it I were did you? it I did it faster I did it Um, a lot of things I um, created a plan for me and I did it Um, the next year so like I was 15 and I was rapping and I ended up like blowing up the next year. I started at 14, but I put like, you know, a goal or like a milestone goal for me. And I ended up blowing the next year. And a lot of things are coming and I did a lot. I did a lot of things that um, I wanted to do in less than five, like a year. <laughs> Damn, dude, because I remember 15 to 20, I was just selling packs. You know, so it's, it's yeah. different when you're talking to, because we have a lot of people on the show. Sometimes they're 25, Dr. Drew's 60 years old. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's a different perspective. Like he knows so much more than I do because he's just obviously with a the older I get the more I realize these old fools got some knowledge yeah. 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 then so you start realizing you were saying the idea that you've accomplished this much and you're like correct me if I'm wrong not old enough to even buy a beer yet <laughs> yeah, for not old enough to even perform at a lot of clubs they probably yeah. won't even let you in yeah. yet I didn't even think about that <laughs> crazy and they let me in <laughs> I'll say, for performance in, but, you know I can't just walk in line and probably go in the club unless it's all face but yeah performance wise yeah